You've looked at the galaxy of stars, established stars that uh, are parading for uh, Abia, <laughs> Abia warriors. I was tempted to call them a Nimba. Uh, that's their more illustrious sister uh, club uh, here in Abia State. But when you look at the galaxy of stars uh, on your side, you will realize that this really is going to be quite a battle. And you can see some of the names already. Showe Mimo, Bonayo Kemiri, and uh, quite a number of them, including a couple of uh, players from outside the shores of Nigeria. And here we go, the first Premier League match to be played in Umuahia, and uh, the first match uh, in the Globe Premier League for Abia Warriors. Good touches to the ball, especially from the Enyimba skipper, and the flag will stay down there. The goalkeeper had to come out, and the goalkeeper makes contact with the ball, and the referee says... It is a penalty, actually, and that's the decision of centre referee Benjamin Ode from Abuja, the federal capital territory. And there you have it. Let's see what happened. The goalkeeper, well, not quite strong, but the goalkeeper must be blamed for this one. Very experienced goalkeeper. Should have known what to do. He should have avoided any contact with uh, the player and go for the ball. Uh, but that's a very stupid thing for him to do to come far away there uh, to catch that man's uh, feet it was uh, soft anyway as the captain of Abia warriors chima uluota positioned the ball but the referee obviously is not too happy about the positioning and uh, gets him to adjust it it is is this the first goal for Abia warriors in the globe premier league the game promotion this year and there he goes, Uluota, oh, easy does it. Cool as you like. And uh, well, we're seeing some celebration, which is off your cameras, but uh, how I wish we could we had captured that one. Uh, some wonderful celebration from goalkeeper Emmanuel Fabi. Very interesting. Okay, you're welcome back. It is the channel spot on Sunday. And I'm being joined or we are being joined because Clement Temele is still in the house. By starting from the right, the extreme right, Shege, Shege Woguns. <laughs> my brother, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Pierre. Okay, and in my immediate very close to me, of course, ladies are always, they, they make the place look better. Shola, how are you? Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Pierre. All right. Uh, they played the game. I didn't. I talk. I talked the game. But they played, they played the game. Uh... Shebu, why are you guys invading my set today? What brought you here? Uh, well, we just came to talk on behalf of the consign group, stakeholders of Nigerian football. Yeah. Uh, we came to tell Nigerians the truth about our present situation and why we have come together to form a group that will channel the cause, the peace cause of Nigerian players, representation of Nigerian players, and uh, try to bring everybody under one umbrella so that uh, we can channel the course of Nigerian players, both present and past, and uh, also take care of some of their welfares. Uh, we have uh, an institution that should, that should do that. So uh, this avenue gives us uh, the opportunity to talk to Nigerians and to talk to our colleagues and to employ everybody to come together so that for once we can put this, uh, all this problem to rest and uh, channel a good cause and uh, stay under one umbrella for the sake of peace, harmony, progress for Nigerian football. Uh, that is why we deem it necessary that we should come and talk to Nigerians and some of our colleagues who are watching us at the moment who did not have the opportunity to know about this uh, consigned group. Uh, this will give them opportunity to know and to know the cause and to also follow the cause. Uh, we are on the path of peace and that's why we have tried to make peace between the two warring parties who, are, who had the dream for this, uh, for this uh, ex-players and present players 
who started the dream. Uh, we've tried to bring them under one umbrella, one or two or three times, to channel peace between them. And uh, we still continue to do that. While we do that, we feel that we should, as consigned group, use this medium to talk to other Nigerian players who are aggrieved or who have been neglected, that it is important that we come together under one umbrella and uh, be fully better represented in the FA in the affairs of Nigerian football. The running, day-to-day running of Nigerian football. Because, to be honest with you, we have been neglected. If you have served the country for so many years in one game, and at, in your retirement, in those areas you are supposed to serve, you are not allowed to serve. Uh, we have had calls to talk to some of our colleagues who are in diaspora, who had had the opportunity to play in Europe, who at the end of their career stayed back because they don't have an opportunity or where to expand their knowledge they, uh, they have been able to acquire. Okay, let me, I want, I want to cut you, I want to cut you, uh, uh, Shorty. Uh, um, uh, Temile, is this your, 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 your concern? You, you have a group, you have one, a group representing you. Don't you have a players union you know, in Nigeria? Yes, uh, well, we, per se, we have two uh, unions that are claiming that they are players union, which I think they are not doing the, the proper job of, uh, as they, by what they call themselves which I think one is our phone and one is uh, now. Now, okay. Yes, in the past, they, they said they are the players' union, but I think uh, they are not doing what they're supposed to do as to representing us as players' union. Instead, they are, I think they are, they are log power tussles between them and all the stuff, making players to suffer, making us not to see the lights of the day when, we, when we're supposed to see. So basically, we don't, I, I would not say, they tried on their own aspect of what they have done till now. For the past 20 years, we've seen them basically hustling for themselves, getting things for themselves. And I think uh, <laughs> our eyes are open now. Though it's late, but I think we can still do something. Like Shegu said, we want to come, bring, we try to bring both parties together and uh, form one formidable union that will help those, th those players that are sick, uh, those players that are dying for, you know, or out of hunger or some other things, lack of job and all this stuff. So I think that two union we've got before is not really representing us. They're representing it's themselves. It's not fully representative yeah, of your uh, of, what yeah. you Okay, uh, um, Shola, I want to, let, let me also come to you. Um, the Super Falcons players, present and past, which I, I will still come down here and I will see uh, what is really happening to the players now? Uh, you are, are you all interested in the past players or also those who are currently playing the game? Not really. Our past dictates our present, and our present, our future. So, not just the past, the present, and the future. Because, you know, if it is difficult for guys to play football, it is double difficult for females to play football. So, I think that after football, there should be a life, there should be transition between that time to aftermath. So I think that um, our course is for everybody, for the past, for the present, and for the future, yet unborn. If my daughter says she wants to play, yes, she's free. So the course is for her too. Okay, uh, uh, let us see. D d <coughs> during, during the week, in, the, in, the, in the, pa the past one week or so, we saw players of Cardinal United uh, take to the streets to carry placards. Uh, if, we, if that visual is ready, we can also have it, uh, where they are protesting about the non-payment of their salary for, look at, look at it, pay us uh, our 12 months month salary. Uh, this is, look at it, Kaduna United players asking their employers, Kaduna United, to pay them their 12 months, that is, for one year, uh, uh, these players have not been paid. Uh, um, Clement, how will this union, for, uh, we know, uh, uh, look into a plight of players like this? Yeah, you see, that's what, that's what I just said. Basically, the, these are the, this is supposed to be the job of the union yeah. when they call the service job. This, we, it's a shame for us to pick black and start 
protesting that uh, they should pay us a salary. Unions should take on that if we have a formidable union. If, if we have a formidable union in place, I think they will just stop the league.